Hello, good afternoon. A friend of mine in person of Bell Umar suggested this question that if the whole of these quantities here equals to 14, what is the actual value of the quantity here? Uh, even if you do not love mathematics, kindly take your time and watch this video. I will try as much as I can to introduce some mass magic in your brain. So if you look at this quantity here, from the knowledge of elementary mathematics, you know that this is a quadratic function because the highest degree here is 2, and this is a linear function with a highest degree of 1. And at the same time, in the same knowledge of mathematics at elementary level, you know that if you square a linear function, it will give you a quadratic function. So let us square this quantity here and see the result. Um, using binomial expansion, you can use whatever method you wish a squared divided by b squared for the first term then plus you square the second term which is b squared divided by a squared and uh, plus two times the first term and the second term first term and the second term if you times them you get a b divided by a b a times b is a b b times a is a b and uh, because the numerator and denominator are the same so they cancel out so we end up having only a squared over b squared plus b squared over a squared plus 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. And on the left hand side we have uh, a over b plus b over a squared. But if you look at this quantity here, a squared over b squared plus b squared over a squared is this, which is equal to 14. So now you can substitute the value of this quantity equals to 14 in this equation. So we have a over v plus b over a squared equal, this is 14, then plus 2. So we will end up having the whole of this equal to 16. So we have a over b plus b over a squared equals 16. Now we need to take the square root of each side in order to eliminate the square. So we have a by b plus b over a equals plus or minus square root of 16. The reason why we have a plus or minus here is because we introduced the square root. The square root was not there before. It is now that we introduce it. Therefore, we have to add plus or minus. Suppose you have um, y equals to square root of 4. y is just equal to 2. But if to say you have y squared equals to 4, y will be plus or minus square root of 4 because you introduced the square root later on. So the whole of this quantity here, a over b plus b over a will be equal to plus or minus 4. So the real value of this quantity here that we are asked to find is either minus 4 or plus 4. So if you enjoy this video, kindly give me a thumb up.